this month we we finished the geothermal digging what's now started is the um, power to site and bringing everything onto site so uh, the laneway has been dug up we've had uh, pits put in for the electrical um, for for the power to be brought to site for the water to be brought to site and also for the telephone communications to be brought to site so part of this whole uh, process is about being coordinating all this stuff so it happens once so we're not digging two and three times the same the same holes are not being dug three times to lay things down individually and then refill um, obviously the advantages of that is you're using less materials less power um, and energy uh, to do those things so you're not backfilling things and then putting fresh backfill in three and four times. So um, the bluestone was removed. I coordinated Telstra City Power and the water uh, company uh, to, to basically get their services in and bring them to site. Uh, what also has been happening this month has been um, getting the land surveyor out to actually mark out the exact plot so we can start digging for the slab and preparing for the slab um, and all those sort of things so the land survey has been out on site as well so um, there's been a fair bit of action and it's starting to happen now so it's quite exciting because there's things happening on site after the drilling it's now a critical path of uh, moving forward. So what also has been happening in parallel to all this work happening on site is uh, the meetings and organisation and double, triple checking um, of, uh, of all the, I guess, materials that are going to be put into the building, also the transport side of things. So we met with uh, Paul Stevenson, who is, um, who's, uh, transporter who's going to be transporting these panels from uh, Drew and West Timber and Trust to to site. Now we've got to make sure we can actually get the semi-trailer down the laneway and it's very important that we do that because it's going to save us a lot of money and triple handling off these cassettes out in the street and then trying to bring them down that narrow laneway so um, we've got had meetings with Paul I'm starting to talk to the crane operator as well uh, make sure we can get the crane in position where we need to and the lift sequence um, in parallel to that I'm also uh, meeting with Drew and West Timber and Trust to to coordinate with Paul Stevenson with also the crane operator of basically where we're going to connect to lift these panels how we're going to lift this panel because if we organize all this now it'll go a lot more smoothly on the day and also uh, we're dictated by the size of the crane we're dictated by what weight it can lift which also means at what points we can pick up the, the cassettes and the walls and the prefabricated panels so all that is being massaged and uh, sort of reorganized um, we've simplified also the build uh, building off these uh, wall panels to try and help with uh, reducing cost as well and that's been a major part of the redesign um, of these panels and the viability of the project and actually being able to complete this project. Yet another meeting I had this month was with Cameron Comer who is integral to the interior design um, of the project and look and feel uh, visually in the space. So I've been meeting with him because I think it's good to have these early meetings so um, I can start processing what the colour scheme is, uh, what finishes are going to be as well because that's going to dictate the sequence of um, how we actually manufacture products, the flooring, the, the cabinetry and so on. So I like having a lot of meetings uh, early on in the process so that way we can eliminate any problems that might occur gives us time to research whether it's going to work or not, sample, all those sort of things. So um, this last month has been all about getting organised and sorted out while things have physically started happening on site as well. So so um, I think it's a sign of things to come. It's going to be quite hectic for the next few months. Um, and the next stage is actually then the site preparation itself. Um, we're getting to the site at the moment. The geothermal has been put in a, a couple of months ago now. I'll, in the last month and now the services have been laid in they haven't been connected up yet but they're all in the ground 
ready to be connected up to the site once we need to. So um, the sequence, we're moving closer to the site to getting that slab in. So again, in parallel to uh, things happening towards the site, we're also testing um, all the systems and we're going to test as much of the systems as we can before we actually implement them. Um, the solar, the automation system, the alarm system, which I'm trying to get integrated um, uh, so it's more efficient. It's all about supporting the su sustainable lifestyle. Um, the automation system, we want to be able to control power points and actually see our consumption right down to each individual power point or groups of power points. Um, the alarm system, again, is integrated into that automation system or we want to have it integrated. Um, so that way we feel safe living down a laneway because there can be apprehensions to that um, with the cameras and so on. So I've got the test site set up. So we've also got the solar in there. So everything talks to each other with the microinverters. I'm testing every system before we put it in um, to make sure it's actually gonna function the way we want it to. And then when it comes to the implementation, a lot of the troubleshooting's actually been completed. Um, so hopefully things will run smoothly. Yet another thing, that's been happening this month, uh, there's been quite a few, um, is we've started receiving products in uh, with potential project partners um, that we're gonna have on board and we're testing out and trying out uh, cleaning materials, cleaning products, um, skincare products, baths, uh, bath, shower gels, etc. cetera. Uh, because not only is the building going to be an eco building, but we wanna use materials and, um, and, and products that are actually sustainably made and, and thought about and have a low impact on the environment. So uh, we've been trying out laundry detergents and so on. We actually even got the dryer and the, um, the very low consumption dryer, um, power consumption dryer. It actually um, consumes less power than a standard washing machine and it's a uh, condensing heat pump dryer and I did that because I'm going to be on site there's going to be a lot of dirty clothes we're going to be washing a lot so I want to use the dryer then to reduce my consumption um, through the whole process of this build as well so we're trying to keep a low footprint even through the build process so it's not only about uh, the sufficient house it's about efficiently building the house as well and all the peripherals around that as much as possible um, is taken into account.